XRP, XRP, XRP. The Bulls are getting ready to run out the gates, family. Can't you feel it? Hi, Vibe Assets. Welcome back to today's show. I got a good one for you today. You know every time that you click on this channel, the content is going to be bullish. Go ahead and give me a follow on my Twitter page at High Vibe Assets. Without further ado, let's go ahead and kick off today's show. The Gates family, this is the time that we've been waiting on for a long time. The time to where there's going to be so much pressure in this digital asset space that it's going to do nothing but force regulation. It's going to do nothing but to force some type of clarity in the digital asset space. And we've been waiting on this for so long. We've been going through so much fear uncertainty and doubt in the brand new digital asset space to where finally we're going to get some smiley faces finally we're going to start to see those rocket ships that we've seen in crypto assets before different times family this is the time that we've been waiting on 2023 is the year of the digital assets. I got a great one for you today, family. You don't want to miss this one. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Let's go ahead and get off into today's show. I, what I got on the screen, family, I'm just showing you, man, Stuart Alderati. I mean, he's been coming out. This is the general counsel of Ripple. He's been coming out lately. I mean, you know, where I'm from, we call it talking smack. We call it talking noise. You know what I'm saying? Talking, you know, the S word that I don't want to say. And I'm pretty sure we got young people watching the channel too, want to keep it clean but you are but but people you understand what i'm saying talking trash okay letting the sec know that you have no chance in the ripple versus the sec case no chance at all whether any angle that you want to go with family the sec is already defeated and this is the reason why that we're here okay we're here to change our lives we are here to put down an investment to where that we are able to get behind the scenes, get in the back doors, essentially, to get in these protocols that we've never been able to get in before. Here I got on your screen, family store it all to Roddy. I mean, he's coming out and throwing bombs towards the SEC, letting them know like, hey, look, if you want to take this court, if you want to take this case to the Supreme Court, just want to give you a little bit of uh, history when it comes to the SEC and all of their cases at the Supreme Court. The SEC has lost four of its five cases in the Supreme Court, thanks to the few that had the courage and resources to fight back against the SEC's bullying and clinging to stretch legal positions that were not faithful from the law. Hey, man, family, this is a shot from me from Store Daughter Roddy letting the SEC know that if you want to really take it that route, if you really want to go down that train, it's not going to look good for you. OK, in the SEC, they're not going to go that route, in my opinion, because of those Bill Hinman emails. This is a tweet from Stuart Alderati in October 20th, 2022. Over 18 months and six court orders later, we finally have the Bill, Uncle Bill Hinman documents. Internal SEC emails and draft of his infamous speech in 2018. While they remain confidential for now at the SEC's insistence, of course, I can tell you that as well that it was worth fighting for. For them, Big Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Twitter, he came right back and commented on this because he knew exactly that when the time was to come for the Bill Hinman emails to come out, we were going to start to see the narrative change and we were going to actually starting to see some clarity when you're talking about the brand new digital finance space. This is what Brad Garlinghouse said and commented to what Stuart Alderati said back in October 20th. He said the SEC, man, they want you to believe that it cares about disclosure, transparency, clarity. Don't believe them for one second. When the truth eventually comes out, the shamefulness will shock you. And these tweets, family, these things, they have been continuing to come over and over and over again. This is what's letting us know what is to come in the future. And what's to come in the future, family, is XRP is coming for that number one spot. Ripple, the company, is coming for the number one spot in the brand new digital asset space. Stuart Alderati had said as well. He said he's always felt good about our legal arguments, and he even feels better now i always felt bad about the sec's tactics and he feels even worse about them now this is exactly what's going on in this space family and one of the main guys that's going to help everybody in the brand new digital asset space so we can finally take off okay 
we can finally get to our end destination. You know, we got 2025 goals. We have 2030 goals. We have 2035 goals that we need to make sure that we're continuing to push in. And once again, family, Tom Emmer and the 118th Congress being sworn into office. That was a game changer. OK, everybody on the left hand side of the incumbents. OK, who was, you know, advocating. And on the side of Sam Bankman fraud with the whole FTX debacle and all of those companies going bankrupt and all of those other companies, digital assets going down to the drain with Sam Bankman fraud was really on the left hand side of the incompetence. Now you got the 118th Congress being sworn in led by this guy. This guy has been an advocate of digital assets from day one, cryptocurrencies from day one, because he understands blockchain. He understands distributed ledger technology, but most importantly, he understands without a doubt that XRP is not a security. will take back control of the House and perhaps uh, the Senate as well. You will see aggressive congressional oversight uh, because that's only going to strengthen our system of government, right? Uh, bureaucrats like Gary Gensler do not make the laws. Mm. Unelected bureaucrats, regulators don't get to politicize the rules of the road or hold the keys to opportunity. And and that's very groundbreaking when you hear Tom Emmer say things like that, that Gary Gensler in the SEC does not even have the regulatory power to make the laws or to make the rules of the game, which they have been portraying out to the media, the mass media, OK, with their mainstream media tactics and propagandas, different things about how they're suing different companies and making these other companies fail. And you know what I mean? Um, You know, give up the ghosts, essentially giving them 30 million dollars in settlement fees, 100 million dollars in settlement fees these type of things right gary gensler and those guys down at the sec does not have regulatory power to make any laws this is why i continue to tell everybody on the high vibes channel that all the world is a stage family this is just a show that we must go on so we can condition the masses to get them ready for new blockchain systems assuming republicans win the house uh, in the midterms in november we will then have the subpoena power, which will force the SEC and Gary Gensler to comply with the crest requests in our letters. And we've sent several of them already, yeah. already, and it will give us the tools to hold him accountable. A more aggressive oversight of our regulators will keep Biden's uh, regulators in check to ensure they're working toward a stronger, better future for the United States. And this is what this is an op this is an opportunity of a lifetime family. And we have to make sure that we're understanding exactly what's going on with this brand new digital asset space. And let's not get caught up. OK, with the latest news. I understand that these things are exciting, especially when you're dealing with Gary Gensler, Mr. Burns. You're dealing with all of this, um, these news that comes out on an everyday basis. But when you take a look at the broader picture, OK, remember I'm telling you, family, we got 2025 goals. We got 2030 goals. We got 20. 35 goals that we need to make sure that we're paying attention to in this course is not going to be knocked off track just by a little agency that doesn't even have the regulatory power to make any laws in the beginning and when the bank of international settlements come out and say something okay the central bank of central banks essentially the bank of international settlements you have to pay attention to what the big dogs are saying family and this is a tweet that they put out today and when you look at what's going on in the crypto space what's going on in digital assets and all of the fear and the uncertainty and doubt the bank of international settlement said family despite the turmoil and losses to most bitcoin investors the crypto 2020 turmoil essentially had little impact on broader financial conditions underlying the self-reference nature of crypto and DeFi. they're telling you family that the game is still on okay nothing has changed Digital assets are here to stay. Blockchain is here to stay. XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created. Think about that. All of the fear and the uncertainty and doubt and on the big scale and on. Look at this. You got the Terra Luna collapse. OK, Terra USD Luna collapse. You got the FTX collapse. OK, it has not done anything to crypto. It has not done anything to the amount of people that still getting digital wallets, the amount of people that are coming into the space, you know, the mainstream media continuing to talk about it. You got other countries and other um, governmental parliaments essentially continuing to draft bills, continuing to move forward. Crypto is here to stay, family. 
digital assets is here to stay. So you need to make sure that you're doing your own due diligence to make sure that you're not investing in these meme coins, dog coins, Johnny come lately, okay? They can get pulled from underneath the rug that we've seen time and time and time again that people, hard-earned citizens, use their hard-earned money and it just get wiped off of their backs of them, wiped from right underneath their feet. Then you got the payments infrastructure news. You got payments now coming out and saying the same thing that the Bank of International Settlements is telling us, family, that crypto is here to stay, okay? And when you're talking about the brand new digital finance system, the first use case that blockchain is going to be implemented in the brand new digital asset space family, it is cross-border payments, okay? Cross-border payments. And when you think about that, I think about ISO 2022 because ISO 2022 is the new messaging system that all international banks, financial banks, that's the messaging system that's going to be used on the back end by 2025 to 2030. 85 to 95 percent of all international transactions, settlements and payments will be on the ISO 20022 messaging system. OK, and we got breaking news. It says clear the way for ISO 2022, the governing council of the I believe this is a European Central Bank. OK, yeah, have just given the green light for the ISO 20022 migration target to on March 20th. They've given the green light family that digital assets is here to stay. They're giving the green light family. They're letting us know. OK, nothing is going to stop this. This is a technological revolution that's going to help solve so many real world use case problems, especially when you are dealing with payments, especially when you are dealing with settlements. OK, we got big time, big time um, use cases that blockchain is going to come and is going to save the day. OK, and when you're talking about XRP, OK. You're talking about the greatest digital asset ever created. This is a document that I got off of the SEC governance page, okay? SEC's page. I just want to take you down to the cryptocurrency sector now, and I want to read this to you a little bit, okay? Um, and I understand when you when you're talking about the SEC versus the Ripple case, and I keep telling everybody that all the world is a stage. We need to be going through these things, okay? They want to know that are you really invested in the currencies that you are are you really invested do you really believe in the brand new digital asset space like everybody on the high vibes channel continues to show on an everyday basis thanks everyone man for hitting that like button hitting that subscribe button as well let's take a look at this when we're talking about cryptocurrencies in light of the extremely complex nature of the legal analysis regarding cryptocurrencies to determine which ones are securities and which ones are not ballard has decided to allow investments in three Cryptocurrencies, okay, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP are generally accepted to be currencies and are not currently subject to regulation by the SEC. Come on, family. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go ahead and let the phoenix rise from the ashes. Let's go ahead and let all of the fiat-based customers that are on on-demand liquidity, let's go ahead and switch them over to on-demand liquidity essentially for them to be able to use xrp let me read that again family just because you know a lot of people when we see these different things sometimes they go in and one ear out the other but these are the railroads essentially these are the plumbing that's going to allow us to have this brand new digital asset space let's go ahead and read that again in light of the extremely complex nature of the legal analysis regarding cryptocurrencies to determine which ones are securities and which ones are not Baylor has decided to allow investments in three cryptocurrencies bitcoin xrp and ethereum that are generally accepted to be currencies and are not currently subject to regulations by the SEC. This is what we've been telling on this channel, family. XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created, bar none, hands down. This is the mother of all mothers. We're getting close, okay? We are one month away 
from the launch of ISO 2022 for that first phase. And you got phase one, phase two, phase three. Everybody is going to be in in 2025, but the first phase is already full go for March the 20th. And this is exactly what we're talking about. The SEC and everybody in America, you cannot hold back one of the greatest technological advancements when you're talking about humanity. You're talking about finance, okay? Finance rules the world, family. We know that, you know? Um, these different economies, okay, these different markets, everything that essentially rules our world is about that finance, right? And XRP is about to be released from the Kraken, essentially, is about to be released from the ashes. And I keep telling everybody that what I see from the Ripple versus the SEC case, I see a settlement. I do not see those Bill Hinman emails coming out in the, I don't see them ever coming out public. And showing those Bill Hinman emails. I will virch. I will bet never. We will never, ever, ever see them. Because like we said in previous shows and different documents that I've shown family. Is that if they let those Bill Hinman emails get out. They cannot go after any other digital asset. Any other cryptocurrency. Any other lending platform. Any other staking platform. Anything that when you're talking about blockchain. That's going to completely disable the SEC from having any reach when you're talking about this brand new digital asset space and because of that those bill hinman emails like we just read earlier okay Stuart Alderati talking about that over 18 months and six court order later we finally have the bill hinman documents this is a game changer and because of that i see a settlement here he is family we got uh jeremy hogan who's been here for the beginning of the ripple versus the sec case big salute man to jeremy hogan and we're seeing eye to eye on this okay i do see that ripple is gonna have to pay to play you know what i mean they're gonna have to pay a little bit of fine okay they're gonna have to give a little bit of money to the sec to the sec mafia that's essentially what they're you know that's essentially how the game that they play but ripple and xrp without a doubt is gonna come out on top I can even see them agreeing to pay a percentage of any sales of the escrowed XRP, or if you want to get really deep state thinking, Ripple could even agree to confiscation of a certain amount of the es escrowed XRP to the state. Now, maybe that's a little fringe conjecture, but here's something that's not. Ripple is apparently at a place business-wise where it could likely afford to make sales from escrow to only accredited investors or to corporations thanks to its on-demand liquidity product. Now this might make the SEC feel better about the public sales from Ripple because Ripple seems now to be in a position to do that. Look at this from a May 2021 Coin Telegraph article. The company also reported that over the, the quarter, 3 billion XRP has been released from the escrow holdings while 2.7 billion XRP have been returned to new escrow contracts. So Ripple is re-escrowing the large percentage or a large percentage of the XRP that it holds in escrow and maintaining its business functions from sales to its ODL customers. And those customers are bank and money transfer services, etc. Not exchanges, not Joe Public. These are private purchasers. So if that's true, it puts Ripple in a good position to agree to only private or Section D sales to accredited investors. And I'm right there on the same page as Jeremy Hogan talking about the settlement, talking about the possible things that can happen in the Ripple versus the SEC case. But if you don't think that XRP is right in the center, in the middle, OK, of this brand new digital asset space. And if you do not have a bag of XRP, this is not financial advice. and I'm not a financial advisor, but this is front end and back end. This is liquidity. OK, this is market making. This is market moving type of things. This is settlements. This is no store of store accounts. This is a uh, store of value. OK, so many use cases when you're talking about the greatest digital asset ever created. Let's hear out of Brad Garlinghouse's own mouth how valuable if you don't have a bag, if you don't have a little bag okay you need to be continuing to purchase your xrp because this is bigger than what we even dreamed we decided early on that we wanted to be a kind of the infrastructure layer and there's a whole bunch of strategic issues associated with that one of them quite frankly is that if you work with regulated endpoints that's where all the regulatory frameworks apply kyc know your customer aml anti-money laundering all the acronyms if you work just with regulated endpoints they're making sure that that is the case uh, companies like WeChat have to do that regulatory work themselves. Uh, now, Swift, I mean, Swift is kind of a competitor. It's, it's, it's slightly more complicated than that because Swift is really just messaging. When you send a Swift transfer, it's not liquidity. 
you're actually sending mess bank messages to banks that have liquidity. So to some degree, Citibank and HSBC, uh, really the top two, JPM, those are the top three liquidity banks. And when you're sending SWIFT messages, you're sending messages to banks to release liquidity and making sure the debits and credits match. So to some degree, really boil it down, Ripple's competing with the liquidity of City and the messaging of Swift, but in one, because we're both messaging and liquidity. You're talking about Ripple family being both messaging and liquidity. There is no other company in the entire world that is bringing the value, okay, to a brand new digital asset space other than Ripple. This is the reason why I continue to show videos day after day, show after show, to completely submit it in your mind, family, that Ripple is the Amazon of crypto. Bums are always gonna be dropping on this channel, family, because the content always, always, always will be bullish. And now, when people talk about the XRP buyback, a lot of people, even within the XRP community, don't believe that certain things like that can happen, okay? People think that the SEC is trying to kill crypto. What they're doing, family, is essentially what Mr. Burns is, okay? He's nothing but a Wall Street baby. They're trying to hand off this industry to the Wall Street guys. Trillions and quadrillions are actually gonna be coming in. But what they're gonna need, family, in order to store digital assets they're going to need a custodian okay a custodian just like the traditional banking system that uses today they use they need custodians you need a custodian in the brand new digital asset space and i got a show i got i got a slide for you later on okay but polysign is going to be one of the most groundbreaking companies to ever come in this brand new digital asset space because they're going to be one of the first licensed big time custodian that's going to hold trillions of dollars of wealth morgan stanley goldman sachs bny mountain state street whomever is providing custody or prime brokerage those organizations do not support digital assets today from a custody standpoint. On Wednesday, the SEC proposed, keyword proposed, a broadening of the custody rule to include number one, specifically digital assets into their definition of the assets that, that would require an investment advisor to use a QC. So they're, they're essentially proposing a codification of what's already existing today, but, but in the scope of the definition, you never had crypto or digital. Now you do. We think that's a positive from the standpoint of validating that there's a there there. It's credentializing. Just like the president's executive off, um, order in the summer basically said, hey, regulators, go regulate this space. What President Biden was saying is there's a there there. This isn't just a corner case. It's big enough to pay attention to. I think what the SEC came out and said on Wednesday was just that. The other thing they said was that qualified custodians to support this new asset class need to do a lot of things to meet our enhanced definition around what it means to be a qualified custodian for digital polysign is going to be one of the biggest qualified custodian family and when you're talking about the brand new digital asset space i want to bring up this slide again family to close out today's show the beginning of the new quantum financial system gold-based xrp true liquidity as real-time settlements only governments Central banks and large corporations will be able to use XRP. All retail investors holding XRP will become accredited investors and will be directed to PolySign family for their custodialship. XRP will provide liquidity to all the central banks of the world. The new world economic standard XRP will lead the way. Thanks for everyone tuning in to today's show. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and turn on those notifications. This is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor, but please let everyone know that the high vibe said that the bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates. Yeah.